Um, so it's, it's a really, I mean, when we think about natural selection and evolution, something that's able to act on a pregnant woman has the opportunity to take out two generations if there's not genetic variation there um, that's protective. So it's like if we want to talk about really fast examples of evolution, it's anything that's acting on pregnancy. Um, and that's what we think has been happening in this population. I have so many questions, some of which are cultural, some of which are biological. Uh, I'll start with the cultural questions. Uh, why in this culture is it the women specifically that dive? Um, are they revered? Um, and are they diving for a particular resource that is, well, because it's underwater, presumably is not available elsewhere, but what are they diving for? We don't totally know. I have my own personal theory, um, which actually relates to the fact that in a lot of places with cold water, so in Korea, in Patagonia, in um, Aboriginal Tasmania, um, it's all women diving. So I suspect that there's something unique about the physiology of women um, that makes us better at diving in cold temperatures. Where the men are afraid of the cold. It could, it could I be hear that about too. a lot of guys that, <laughs> that will, will spend dozens of hours picking apart deliberate cold exposure uh, when it would take them a fraction of the amount of the time to get into the water. Mm -hmm. In my experience, this is not a controlled studies, uh, women are more tolerant of the cold, at least in terms of being willing to embrace it the first time around. Interesting. I have stories of, uh, I won't say which countries, uh, elite special forces, it wasn't the US, uh, guys, in that case it was guys, being terrified of getting into cold water, <laughs> but otherwise being willing to do very, very challenging and in, indeed right. 